Hey guys, and welcome back to Metal Gear on the MSX. In the last video, we did a decent amount of stuff. We, uh, we got a parachute, we killed the machine gun kid, we rescued a lot more prisoners, and we found out that Dr. Madnar is in the inner courtyard. But the only way to get to the inner courtyard is to jump off of the roof, preferably with a parachute. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go right on up to the roof, go back into the elevator, ride it up, and there's R for right here is the roof. And we walk out here and here we go. Oh, we're getting a call. There's this big boss. I forgot to tell you. There's a wind barrier on the roof. Look for a bomb blast suit. Over. So yeah, this is why um, back whenever we were in the basement, I went ahead and grabbed the bomb blast suit and the enemy uniform. Um, but the uniform is going to come in much later. Bomb blast suit we need right now. And if we have it equipped, then we can walk right, you know, right onto the roof, no problem. But if we don't have it equipped, then we get blown back by the wind barrier, whatever that means. So, yeah. Also, I wonder if there, uh... Right, we never got, um, we never got, um, Schneider's codec, did we? Give me just a second. Okay, so his frequency is apparently supposed to be, um, 120.79. Let's try it. This is Solid Snake. Come in. This is Resistance Leader Schneider. The bomb blast suit is in the basement. Over. And then, of course, normally we would go down there, get the bomb blast suit, and, um, find a way how to punch through those walls. Remember that whole debacle? Anyways, but once we pass the wind barrier, we can actually take the suit off, and we're fine to walk around. So yeah, today we're going to tackle everything here on the roof. And, ooh, I actually can't quite remember what all is up here, but let's sneak by. More guards. Okay. Take him out. Take him out too. Let's move this way, see what else is here. Let's duck down. Oh, building. What do we have here? Some ammo? Alright. Okay, so we can't go that way. Looked like there was a room down here, though. Yeah, that we need a key to get in. I'm assuming it's one we already have. I don't think it's anything else. Uh, three. Nope. Two. It works. Thanks for saving me. If you have a parachute, you can jump off from the edge of the barrier. Thank you. I will make sure to test that out at some point. Just maybe not right now, because I don't want to die. Let's try going down this way. Oh crap, this part. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna, just gonna save my game real quick. This is a very, shall we say, precarious, um, part of the game. Let me go ahead. I might end up accidentally showing off what the parachute does. So yeah, with the parachute, parachute. With the parachute, um, if we fall off of the roof for any reason, we'll parachute down, we'll land in the courtyard safely, we'll be alive. If we didn't have it and we fell, we would die. Now, I think the only place you can jump off is where we're supposed to go, or if you fall off this bridge here. So, let's try getting across. We did it. What's in the next room? More bridge. Wonderful. Okay, dude, it's like the same thing in reverse. It's almost a straight line right there if you can time it right. Oh, shoot. Jetpack. Jetpack guy. Ah, don't shoot me. Yeah, I forgot to mention, there are- Oh, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. Whoa. Okay. And here I was worried about 
about the bridges. I'll be right back. So I'm currently in a alert status, but I think I'm going to show off the parachute uh, for one reason. That's what I need to get some health back. So, Geronimo. Oh, there's a, there's a second transition screen. Okay. Okay, so here we are. So yeah, this is this is where we were at the start of the game. This is the courtyard, but we need to get on the other side. I think that cell right there is Madnar's. Or maybe there's one over there, I'm not sure. But anyways, while we're here, I'm going to pick up some more health. And uh, yeah, I'll cut back to the roof in just a second. Figured while I came back, I should probably maybe go down this way. Just because once we cross over that bridge, I don't think we're going to be coming back over here. So we might as well explore what's here right now. Okay, keep moving. Ah, another cell. So yeah, I think... That right there, you see, that leads to the place where we can jump off and parachute down. But we're not there yet, so we've just got to kind of explore until we find a way to get over there. Which, now we know is the bridge. What's in here? Ooh, yes please. We're going to go ahead and pick up a lot of these because, like I said, they're great for bosses. And even though I've killed the last two bosses without them, which I'm not going to lie, especially with Machine Gun Kid, I am pretty proud of that. We're going to go ahead and get them just in case. Okay, so we're back here on the rickety bridge. And uh, let me just tell you from <clears throat> events that may have transpired off screen. You're going to want the parachute equipped whenever you're crossing this bridge. Because if you fall and die, you lose all the progress you made while on the roof. So... We're going to try and uh, just be very careful about this, okay? Uh, okay, good. We made it. I'm going to go ahead, equip the rations. Yeah, because we're going to get spotted immediately. I don't know if we can take out those jetpack guys. I do know we're going to need to use RC missile. Fire it. Boom. Okay. Run across, run across, just eat eat the bullets, eat the bullets, take the hit. Or three go in here. Uh, and then oh frick, I uh, let's switch to the submachine gun. Because there's a lot of guys coming in. Okay, we did that, and what did we get? The mine detector. Something else that probably will not come in handy until much, much later in the video. Well, not the video, the series. Okay, uh, let's... If we cross right over here... And we got spotted again. Let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving and grooving. And stooping and bloobing and other words that rhyme with... Oh, frick! The high and D! Okay. So this right here is the next boss. The high and D attack helicopter gunship, whatever it is. This is the only safe spot you can hit it from. But how do you hurt said Heimdy? Well, let's try one of our famous RC missiles. Nothing. Um, this is where the grenade launcher comes into play. But you can't... Oh, actually, yeah. If you stand right here, you can just lob as many grenades as you need. Um, also, you know what? Let me test something out. I realized something about another codec. Uh, another codec contact we didn't really try. I think if we call... What's her name? Diane. If we call her during a boss fight, she may give us info on how to beat the boss. But... This is Solid Snake. Come in. Hi, this is Diane. The Hind D can be brought down with the grenade launcher. Hi. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, the only way you can actually get in contact with Diane, you have to contact her during boss fights, and she gives you hints on how to beat them. I don't know if I knew that before now, but either I saw something or I thought, oh, maybe if we try calling her during a fight. I don't know, but now, so yeah, we can, uh, we've got another contact we can rely on. But now we just gotta keep lobbing grenades until this thing goes down. 
Sometimes it's hitting, sometimes it's not. I don't know if it has to do with like the motor blades or what. Also, not a problem for us. It really shouldn't be a problem for you at this point. But the only way that you're going to have enough grenades to actually take this thing down is if you have already gotten to rank 2. Remember, uh, each time you go up in rank or class, you're able to carry more items. Like, for example, we could only carry three ration packs at the start of the game. Now we can carry up to nine. And we did it. We took down the Hind D. Another boss defeated. So if we go through here, if we rock right through here, and we stare into the abyss, and the abyss stares back at us, and then the intrusive thoughts win, we equip the parachute, and we jump, and then we go through one parachuting transition scene, and then we go through a second parachuting transition scene, because one wasn't enough, we end up on the ground floor surrounded by dogs, uh, submachine gun, please, please, no, 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 okay, all right, we took care of it. Um, is Madnar in here? Let's try one. Let's try two. Okay, apparently we need level four or something else. Let's check these trucks. Whoa! Maybe that, uh, mine Yeah, maybe that mine detector is coming in handy a lot sooner than I thought. Okay. Um, picked up card four. Good for us. Oh, frick, frick. Frick, frick. Uh, <laughs> ouch. Da, na, na. Let me heal up and equip the mud detector. No. 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 No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. This. This can't be happening. This, this can't be happening. We're. 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 we're, we're, we're but. but What? So, for anyone wondering what just happened, apparently, if you get in the wrong truck, the driver drives away and takes you back to the other side of the fence, which means you then have to go all the way back through the building, get up to the roof, because it's You've not immediately added elevator, where you can just go straight to the roof. Then you've got to cross the roof again, getting spotted by the jetpack trooper, because they fly now, and then you jump off. Don't you love this game? I do actually love this game, but why can't these old games be frustrating? Madnar, you son of a gun, you bet... Dr. Madnar, was I too late? Apparently he's been moved. Great! Just wonderful, exactly, exactly what we needed. But there is another building over here. Can we, uh... What's in here? Another prisoner. You better have some useful information for us. Thank you for helping me. Dr. Madnar was just transferred to Building 2. Building 2 is located 10 kilometers north of here. So, we did all that for nothing. Well, not entirely true. We still know Manar was transferred and he was moved, but now, yeah, we've got to go into the next building to find him. So let's go ahead and um, just go through here. Ah, this is where it puts us. So I guess now we have... Okay, I think that's where we're supposed to go. We just got to... Avoid the guard's gaze. Nope. Get through here. Okay, and we're outside. Um, well, yeah, so that's building one complete. I think we've saved every prisoner. We've we found every secret. We've got all the items we need. And now we just have to cross the desert here. Oh, boy. So glad I've got this mine detector. Seems as good a place as any to call it quits, so, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.